Hello brothers, Norcrowd giving you a quick guide on how to build a terminal station here in Open Transport Tycoon. So, we're gonna start by unpausing here in a second, but we'll be building a two station, uh, two track and six length station here from the uh, Danbred woods, uh, woods and over to this one. What I'm gonna do first is build the uh, stations and then we'll do a little bit build it here and I think I'll just there, uh, there it is to put it up I'll raise the landscape here and I'll build a station here and what we're gonna do next is build the uh, beginning of the um, tracks so I'm taking this going a uh, three out and across here and I'm gonna put a depot here and what I'm gonna do is build some uh, signals here in a moment on these tracks for getting out of uh, out and in but what I'm doing here I'll do the same place it here lower the uh, the um, tracks here and up the track lower the hill like this and I'm going to go up build the depot here as well and what we want now is the uh, one here I'm gonna, just going to show you here so you can see placing three signals here uh, well place all of them and I'll build the first here so you can see second third fourth fifth and the sixth sig uh, signal as you can see here they're all different and does different things I'll make a guide on that in a later episode what we're gonna be using is these two uh, for this and as you can see this was one two and three so it's two and three we'll do this number two this is gonna be the train into the station so we're gonna do it like this because it's coming in and the train is on that side and the white uh, vertical we're gonna place here and we're also going to use the first one um, but that's just the normal signal and we're gonna press again so it's one way again and we'll just do that in the other end of the station as well uh, the reason why I'm doing this uh, now is uh, because this is the basic of getting this uh, train station to work doesn't really matter building the tracks but we're gonna build the tracks and try and set some uh, trains on it now um, let's see I want to lower this I'll uh, show you a little trick here if you hold the control key you can drag the lowering here uh, across and as you can see there I just lowered a uh, cross section instead of a square which you will normally get if you just press here and if I press the control key it'll be vertical or yeah you know what I mean so let's build these tracks a little bit further here when I build the tracks here one is gonna go uh, for the trains one way and one is going with the trains the other way I try not to as you can see here I can actually place them on the same tile here I try not to do that um, it'll help you later when building bridges and so on and I it can be crowded and if you have them both on here you can have the uh, signals on them as well so that's another thing you need to take it into account and so we're pretty far down now so we can just go down here and down here and as I said I want this to be uh, more vertical oh, as you see here there we go and there they're not touching again and whoopsie and we've got these two connected so now I still need to do the signs if I were to do this and drag now it will make the same sign so don't do that remember oh, 
like this. Uh, you can do this one because that's a normal signal. So press the control key and it'll just copy that signal. But if you go to the other end, which is a normal signal, then you can copy it. And there you go. We've got signals in both ways of the station. It's very simple. And what we do now is new vehicle, uh, cheap train here, and we set it to this station. And we're setting to this station. And we need to remember this one was the one we want to full load. And we're lacking a little bit of coal trucks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we'll do like this. And I'll put that out. I'm not gonna go into detail is what these signals are doing uh, right now, but this is the correct way you can do it on uh, with some of the other signals. Um, but if you have multiple trains on it, it will start messing up. If you do like this, you can, uh, yeah, well, you can have almost unlimited trains on this tra uh, this little tra uh, piece of uh, tracks. Just copy this one and I'll send that out as well. Let's skip. As you can see now, it's not going to go in until that train is out of the way. This route is not optimal of uh, supporting more than two trains at the moment, I'd say. But I would be able to have at least six or seven trains on it if I were to feed this uh, station with more uh, coal from different mines, which I'm going to show you in the next episode how I'm going to use this mine to feed this one with more trains, or with more coal. So. Um, I hope this was helpful for you in the terminus station. The reason why it's a terminus, well, it's because the movement of the train is terminated at the end, so it's not going around, like the roundabout, the row row station here. Somebody also calls it a, a terminus row row because they roll in, row out. Um, but yeah, well, it's a terminus. Just remember that as uh, the route is getting terminated at the end. But uh, with these three routes we've made here you can take a look at the income and you can see we're managing quite well in train income we're doing at least 80,000 a year right now and we would actually be able to repay the initial loan of the uh, game which we had to begin with uh, within two years playtime and that's without building anything so Right now you're off to a very good start of about the game. I'll just show you in the next one here how I'm going to build a feeder station to this one. So, hope this was helpful. See you guys later. Bye.